y'all it is saturday january 14th and we have eight days tomorrow i have not been assigned anything right now i am just been chill i'm just chilling right now waiting for them to call me hopefully they don't call me i'm like number 38 maybe 10 from the bottom which is not bad um that's on 883 so um i'm praying that i did not get used i'm I mean, I don't want to get used right now. Like, I don't want them to call me in the middle of the night. I want them to call me tomorrow morning or afternoon for a Paris or something super easy and quick. This is the Wolf of Hot Descendant. We are on A Days, aka Reserve Days. Let's get into it. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, and comment. Okay. I know you have to do new hair. It's so freaking. This is like my new hair for the year. I'm wearing this for the rest of the year. Let's give in. Sierra. I bet you want this good. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow if I get a shirt. Bye. All right, y'all. So, crew scheduling definitely got me. They called me at like 5 a.m. Well, they didn't, they didn't even call me. I just was checking my app, my work app. And they assigned me um, a fugly trip. Okay, the trip was ugly. Um, we signed in at 10.50 a.m. It's currently 6.10 a.m. I couldn't go back to sleep. Um, so, I'm up finishing my meal prep. And then at 10.50 a.m., we start out of LaGuardia. Two legs, two legs, two legs. We lay over in Milwaukee. I'll put the schedule. I'm gonna start putting the schedules right here for you guys so you can see it. But I'm just letting you guys know what we're doing today. Um, today we're doing LaGuardia to Atlanta. We have a three hour sit in Atlanta, Atlanta to Milwaukee, lay over for 11 hours. And then we have an early morning report after that. And then we do Milwaukee to Atlanta and then Atlanta to DCA. We're laying over in DC for like 15 hours. I love DC and we're getting in pretty early, but we leave early as well. So this is the Real Life Flight Attendant. We are on A days, reserve days, access days. And they still can call me to reroute me if they really wanted to too. Um, yeah. So meal prep finish, so that's always a good thing. That's how I always like to prepare before my trips to have everything ready. Okay. Um. All right, y'all, we are back meal prepping. Meal prepping as a flight attendant. Let's get into this video. We're gonna use our Life With 32 can lunch bag i do recommend this bag it doesn't have any structure it's nothing at the bottom but i do i love this bag i can put a lot of food in here all right let me show you guys what i'm packing so first. A kale salad here i have some pineapples apple Also going to use my Sabbath heat mini oven. Um, I'm trying to stop you. I'm trying to stop using the microwave. So my next best bet is either a Hot Logic or the Sabbath heat mini oven. I will have everything linked below for you guys for um, this meal prep video. Um, it's important to meal prep on the road because we deal with a lot of delays and cancellations, and sometimes restaurants aren't open for us. So. To make your own food, you have the ability to eat what you want, be healthy, and not spend money on your layovers. I also have some Chex Mix. I do buy I do buy snacks because I know I'm gonna buy snacks in the airport. It's inevitable for me, so I'm gonna always buy my snacks at home too. Let's add it to my bag. Alright y'all, I just caught my Uber. We're about to head, we are about to head to the airport. We are starting out of LaGuardia today. Oh, it's called an Uber, is what it is. Alright, let's head outside. Let's go. Alright y'all, we are in our Uber. Heading to LaGuardia. We have two legs today. 
Should be an easy day. Fingers crossed. That's gonna work. We're gonna a flight attendant. Going to work. We're on A days, reserve days, access days, on call, but we're gonna get there. We have to sign in at 9.50 a.m. It's currently 9.15. We're 15 minutes away from the airport. I thought I was gonna be running a little late, but I guess I'm not. All right, I'll see y'all once we get to the airport and sign in. To the airport but i'm here a whole hour earlier i thought that my signing was at 9 50 and i knew it was at 10 50 but for whatever reason it didn't process and i was like let me leave now like i'll be late to work whatever y'all i'm so early and i'm mad about it oh big eye roll but anyways being on time is important this is a lesson learned read the schedule before you book your uber um let's head to our let's head to security So All right, y'all. We successfully went through KCM without getting a random through the door to the left. Um, so let's go. All right. Um, so we're in LaGuardia, like I was saying. I got to work super early, and I'm so mad that I'm giving the airport my time today. We have a three hour sit in Atlanta, so I'm already gonna be sitting in Atlanta for three hours. I'm so upset. But what? All right, y'all, we finally made it to Atlanta. We had a hour and a half on the ground in LaGuardia because we had an issue with the passenger low count and the bag. So we were on the ground for 30 minutes waiting to get the numbers. Once we got the numbers, we had to go back to the gate. And then some people left, the, left and got off of the plane because of the delay and maybe they missed the connection. So they just stayed in New York. This is the Royal Football Flight Attendant. We are in Atlanta, Georgia at the airport. Now we are on um, the Airbus 321 heading to Milwaukee. It's still a little flight attendant, changing planes, changing aircrafts, and putting your bags up and down all day. Let's get into the video. I'm still the galley flight attendant, so let's get to work. Headed to Milwaukee. Bag is All right, y'all, we are on our layover in Milwaukee. We have 11 hours here. We made it with no delays from Atlanta. Hotel is by the airport. So like about a 10 minute drive, so it's super easy. We have a pickup of 6 a.m. in the morning. So we have an early, early morning report. Honestly. All right, y'all, so we are in Atlanta. We're waiting on our plane to get here. We're about to go to DCA. And we have like a 15 hour layover in DC. I'm about to eat my empanadas I got from Poppy's. They are so good, y'all. I just got a new bag. The Briggs and Riley 